Hello YouTube, Shizny Gaming here. I'm gonna try something out. Uh, I'm gonna try doing a desktop recording. See how well this works. If it all goes well, then I should be able to. Uh, well, just do some real quick. So, I made a video and I demonstrated uh, dark multiplayer, and uh, it's a wonderful multiplayer mod for Kerbal Space Program. However, one gentleman asked me to make a video on installation. Now, I would be more than happy to do this. This is, uh, you know, it, it's a great mod, and if you can't install it, you know, uh, you know. Uh, what am I saying here? Sometimes things just don't work well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So what I did was I went to the interwebs. Okay, so we're going to Google uh, KSP DMP. All right, all caps, just make it easier. All right, and you got uh, dark multiplayer. Oh, okay, so I have to update this anyway. Perfect. So you can see this guy on the forum. He's got, you know, a forum page. and. He's got uh, information on it, right? Uh, the change log reduce minimum supposed to subspace speed to 0.3x speed, set the subspace rate to the slowest player. Yeah, see, there you go. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, stuff that even. Yeah. Yeah, see, there we go. So some, some things that I need to. Uh, I need, I need to update. So what you're going to do is when you get here, you're welcome to read anything you want, right? He's got information, uh, Q&A, right? Stuff like that. He's even got an actual uh, how do I install it. But I'm just going to make a video anyway because I can. So first you're going to go, if you want to uh, just connect to other people, you can go to uh, Client Download. It's a link here. To, I like to open a new tab. Go to the next tab here. And then you, can, you see Forge, right? It brings you to Curse Forge, blah, blah, blah. It gives you more info. And then up at the top right, you got this download link right here under the search bar. You're just going to click download and it'll, well for me it does this, right? So, uh, number two, save, and it'll give you a zip file. You might need a WinRAR for this, or a 7-zip, whatever you prefer. I've got a WinRAR myself, okay? And if you want to make a server, you're going to go uh, click on this upper link here, build server, download. Now, the reason it's not on Curse is because... Curse um, is you can put zip files and like data packs on there, but because there's an e exe on uh, on this one, you can't actually put it on Curse. So you just go to here, and it'll bring you to this beautifully purple page, and you can go to release build right up in the right here. Not the development build. The development build is if you're good at programming, you want to work on it yourself. But most people aren't, so you know, go to release build. You're going to go the uh, latest server package. Now, you can also get the client package here as well, but I just go to the curse for that. Server package, same idea, right? Set it to my desktop, uh, underscore to that. Save it, right? And it'll download. And you're welcome to close down your internet. Boo! Minimize your Bandicam, because, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. Everyone's Bandicam must be minimized for this. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going to open up your files, right? And desktop. Gonna look for your Kerbal Space Program. Now, I've got a backup cop that I usually play on that I use modded. And then you're gonna open. Oh, sorry, I should uh, tell you what I'm doing. So I'm going to my uh, KSP. I know it says no far, but there's far installed. Whatever. Okay, and you're gonna get to here. You're going to go and you're going to go into game data, right? And this will give you data information. If you don't mod normally, you'll only have uh, squad. That'll be the only folder in there. Everything else here is a mod. You're going to go ahead and just pop that to the left, and then you're going to open up your uh, DMP client. And then you can see the uh, WinRAR archive will have another folder, DMP client, open it, game data, open it, and it'll say dark multiplayer. You can drag and drop this right inside here. Yes. And then you're going to go ahead and move and replace if there are any. Yes. Do this for too complex. Move and replace. Okay. And there you go. Once this folder is in here, and also if you're just fresh installing it, it won't ask you to replace stuff. Uh, so yeah, once that's good, you should have the DMP folder in here, or the dark multiplayer in here, right? And that's all fine and dandy. Now, alternately, if you're not comfortable with going it too deep into files, you can just drag and drop game data. Yes. Do this for all current items. Yes. Merge it. Do this all for five complex. Move and replace, and it'll just do it right for you. Windows 7, right? It's great. Uh, if you're using Windows 8, same idea, you just got to find your uh, files, because I never liked the navigation on Windows 8. And all's well and dandy, really. Now, if you want to install the server, this one's different. This one, you're not actually installing it to your Kerbal Space Program. You're going to extract the spec... Or, if you're using WinRAR, uh, you're going to go ahead and right-click on DMP server, extract to the specified folder, or press Alt-E. 
you can go desktop DMP server 2 okay you, you probably want it on your desktop just for easy easy access or if you like to keep your desktop clean you can see I don't I've got everything on the desktop if you like to uh, keep the desktop clean you know you can put it wherever uh, but usually I just put it on desktop DMP server 2 we're actually going to go ahead and put a backslash this will mean that it'll generate a folder called DMP server 2 then all the information will be put inside that folder or not it's really up to you so we're going to end up with this thing called DMP server 2 open it open that and now we've got these couple folders DMP server the application that's what you want you're going to right click it run as administrator yes and it's going to open this up and allow it on your network that's important okay and it's going to bring up all these uh, information this information is is your server it's everything so loading plugins done so if you have mods it'll load them in uh, your address, your port, uh, these are just for others to connect to you. Address, if it's 0000, that means it'll use anything that's available. Uh, if you want to get more specific, which is, un I don't advise it, but if you do, you can change that. Uh, port 6702, uh, if you if you know how to port forward, then that's important to you. Warp mode, uh, I'm not sure what that means. I'll have to look at game mode 0, that means it's sandbox, mod control. Same thing, I don't know, it probably has something to do with uh, limiting people with mods. Uh, log level 0, that's just if you have an error and it gives you a crash report it'll tell you how much uh... screenshot height blah 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 cheats one means that you can use cheats if necessary http port no idea server name you, know, you can see this now the old KMP you were able to use a function called set blah 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 and you can do whatever to change settings however not in uh, DMP DMP you were gonna go ahead and close this and you can see now, oh, hey, look at that. We just got a whole bunch more files here just because we loaded it for the first time. Also, keeping in mind, you must run as admin to allow it to internet. So, what did all these do? Well, logs, plugin, universe, stuff like that, you don't need to touch it. Uh, the common DLL, don't touch it. Message writer, don't touch it. Git version is information. And then the rest of these are all settings. Admins. Say your friend is named uh, Kill Switch, right? Okay, well you save that, and I'm pretty sure, I think, maybe, I'm probably wrong, I've never actually made anyone admin, because no one ever plays on my server, but, uh, you know, you put their name in, and it would uh, make them admin, give them admin status, or control. Uh, got, uh, guild bands, it should be an L, but it's just gid bands. If you, you can make guilds in uh, on the servers, you can also ban guilds. Uh, IP bands is if someone keeps putting usernames, right, you can put like 192.177.34.123, right, or whatever your, their IP is. Uh, you can place it there and it'll ban their IP address, so their computer or their internet won't connect to yours whatsoever. Mod control means if, well, it'll, it'll explain to you, if you have mods in there, or like uh, modules or parts that must be potato roid. Uh, if you have parts in here that, um, you know, you, you really want uh, um, to, oh, God, how do I explain this? If you install, for example, uh, MechJeb, it's got the AR202 case, right? So you would want to put in the name of the uh, MechJeb AR202 case, uh, its file, into here, and then the game would be like, oh, well, okay, that means that, you know, there's you're going to need this folder before you can play. So it, when someone tries, tries to connect, what will happen is the uh, this file will be uh, read by their by their client, and their client will go, well, hey, you don't have the error 202 case, so you cannot connect to this. The reason this is because if you try to load into a server and they're using parts you don't have, your computer's going to try and look for that part to load it in because you'll have to view it yourself. It'll try and load it in, but you won't have it, so it can't load it. And it will just bad things happen, you know. SHTF, you know. <laughs> so, anyways, you can do uh, player bands and uh, server settings. This is what you'll be most interested in. Open this up, and now you've got all your settings. So you can set your address, your port, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? Warp mode. Uh, the warp type, valid values are right. So uh, you want probably just leave that simple. Uh, sandbox or career. This is fun to change. Now, keep in mind that in career. Science is not shared. It's uh, science and unlocks. They're totally separate for each player. So, you know, it's not like one person can do it all and everyone else just plays like a sandbox. Mod control. This, uh, yeah, this this is um 
what I was talking about with the uh, mods and needing each mod and naming each mod. If you, like, I usually set it to zero anyways because it's it's a lot simpler. It basically, if it's set to zero, it means the computers will not search and see if all the mods are the same or if they're correct in that list, which means that you know it's it's easier if you know what you're getting into. Um, if you can communicate with friends, tell them to get the same mods and same versions, then it's simpler. You don't have to write out each module part, especially if you like putting in lots of mods. Uh, keeping in mind that you only have to worry about mods that add parts. If you're using something like Ferrum Aerospace Research, where it just affects your aerodynamics, or, uh, I don't know, anything else that doesn't add parts, or even uh, MechJeb, I've actually uh, put the module, uh, just wrote it into the... Uh, uh, advanced SAS thing, so I can use the SAS, which is in game, and then it's got the MechJeb module in it, so you know the data is there and all that. If you do stuff like that, and you don't have to worry about mods, just the parts that add parts. Okay, so the rest of this, right? You can, you know, worry about this user cheats in game one. That's true. You know, blah blah blah. Zero's false. One's true. Maximum amount of players that can join the server. I'm gonna set this back to ten, cause internet gets expensive at about thirty. 20, 30 people. Auto nuke. Okay. This uh, w what happens is uh, if say people are trying to launch and they fail and they got debris around the place, it can really mess up other people's game. So, um, you know, specifying minutes often auto nuke runs, right? So I'm gonna set this to every uh, I don't know, 60 minutes, right? Auto de Kessler. Uh, the the Kessler syndrome. I don't know if you know in real life is uh, is where you've got. Uh, a lot of garbage in orbit, you know, for example, like debris from, you know, orbiting vehicles. And eventually, there was, it's a mathematical thing that states that uh, eventually there will be so much debris in space that having a safe launch is virtually impossible. It's like a cloud of debris that you will just destroy, get destroyed as soon as you hit it. It's, uh, and it's a real world thing that they worry about. Now, the nice thing about the real world is that gravity's not or the gravitational pull of Earth is not symmetric all the way around. It it varies, so sometimes certain orbits are unstable, meaning that you'll eventually your periaps will drop lower and lower and lower until you enter the atmosphere. Blah blah blah. Everything is in this kind of an orbit, meaning that eventually everything will come back down to Earth, but it'll take years and years and years. And I don't think humans have years and years to wait before we want to you know move to Mars because there's too many people. But you know. Anyways, Auto de Kessler just eliminates all orbital orbital debris. Uh, number of asteroids. This is kind of cool uh, and kind of problematic. In the vanilla game, there is a uh, you know asteroids. They they come and go. They spawn and despawn. In the server, they don't spawn and despawn. They are all set in. Oh, pardon me, oh, yawning. They're all set in and. They then orbit, you know, if they impact, curb, and they're destroyed, whatever, they're, they're gone. I think sometimes new ones will spawn, but they're all just scattered in orbit and uh, make some, I don't know, I think it's kind of more entertaining, because then it's, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, you can change the number of asteroids. You could set it to, you know, some ridiculous number if you really wanted your computer to cry in a corner. Uh, <laughs> console identifier. I don't, oh, okay, so yeah, if, uh, if you send a message using your... Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, huh, it's not even open. Dry. Anyway, yeah, it's you get the idea. And server server message of the day, percent name percent. Actually, this is a uh, I, I recognize it from batch scripting. What this means is that it'll uh, percent name percent is just a function that searches for the. Okay, say someone logs on. Their name is uh, Jimmy, right? And uh, this so this uh, message will search for their name, uh, save their name, and then apply it here, and then send it back to them. So it would be Welcome Jimmy, or Welcome Tim, or whatever their name is, right? Uh, aside from that, that's really it. You can save if you like your settings. Uh, be careful with some settings, you can really mess things up, but once that's at you. Right click, run as admin, yes. There we go, nuke to zero vessels around the KSC, remove zero debris, right, so. Yeah, the only problem I could see with the uh, auto nuke is if someone goes to launch just as auto nuke goes, it'll destroy their vehicle completely. But, I mean, you know, other than that, you know, once this is up, you can minimize this and you don't even type anything in, you don't need to start. And all's well. Now, 
when you do go to uh, end for the night or, you know, once you need to shut down the server, don't just close it uh, like I did. It's not good. You want to actually go uh, forward slash shut down all one word and it'll just, it, it has to close it down and save all its data and all that. Uh, aside from all that, so just a quick recap. So, you know, uh, saving to here is a simple matter of going into game data, dropping the client. Must be the client. Yes, go away. Remember, I know my trial period's over. Oh, I don't care. DB client in, right, and then the uh, server is not in there. The server just goes to your desktop, open it up, and then stuff. You could create a shortcut to your desktop, or you could, you know, put pin it to your taskbar if you're so inclined. And uh, other than that, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments if I if I helped you out. Uh, if you if you're still fuzzy on something, feel free to leave me a comment. Like I said, and uh, stay tuned for more Kerbal randomness.